I'll show you how to create this beautiful torn paper effect even if you are a rank beginner in PowerPoint. You can use this effect to showcase documents like this or showcase screenshots like this or present pictures like this to hint at what you want to say. You can use the same torn paper effect to create these kind of semi-transparent tapes to mount photos on your slides. You can even communicate concepts using torn paper effect like in this case, we talk about combined entity. Then on a click, we show that the combined entity is split into three pieces and we talk about the three pieces here. And if you wait to watch till the end of this video, I'll also show you how to create this kind of effect to create interesting title slides. The picture that you see here at the background can always be changed with your own picture. I'll also show you another variation of the same effect like this one, which you can use for your title slides. Sounds interesting? Then keep watching. Let us jump right in to learn how to create torn paper effect. As always, we start from a blank slide. First, let us use the rectangle tool to create our rectangular shape. Then let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, go to Lines and choose this one called as Freeform Scribble. Click on it. Now you can see that the cursor is changed into the crayon shaped tool. You just go here, click and then just go berserk you know the the shakier your hand is the better it is and then you come all the way to the start and click at the starting point and you will find a shape emerging now select this shape first hold the shift button down select the scribble shape next go to merge shapes and say shape subtract you can also find that in the shape format merge shapes and shape subtract now you've got your torn paper effect it is that simple now, how do we do this for a document? Let us go to a document. Here, this is the sample document I got and I want to showcase this piece here. All you need to do is to use Windows Shift S shortcut, which is the shortcut for taking a screenshot. Let me take a screenshot like this, then go back to my slide, right click, paste it. Then let me resize this and place it over here. Let me change the background so you can clearly see what I'm doing here. Let me use a darker background. Then go once again to the same lines and freeform scribble and then just go ahead and be really crazy and then draw this. Go all the way to the start. Done. Select this picture. Hold the shift button down. Select this shape. Go to merge shapes. Shape subtract. Done. Now, if you want to add a bit of shadow, you can do that. Go to shadow, go to shadow here, go to presets and choose this one called as offset bottom. You can see that it stands out from the background. If you want, you can even increase the size like so. So this paper stands out. Beautiful, right? Now let us see how to showcase a screenshot. Let us say I want to showcase this part. Windows Shift S and I'm going to take this part here. Right click, paste then do the exact same thing go to home go to the same scribble tool and then just go berserk scribbling and go to the start select this picture and this shape then go to merge shapes shape subtract and can you see here this is a very beautiful way to showcase a screenshot this is quite useful especially when you want to create technical presentations let us see how to create semi-transparent tape using the same technique to mount pictures. Let us go to insert pictures, stock images and let us pick up any picture that we can find. Let me choose this picture, go to insert, let us resize this, go to the first shape, take a copy of this, go here, paste it, reduce the size like so. Create a duplicate by pressing ctrl D and then go to rotate and say flip vertical and then place it right on top of the previous one. Select both of them. Go to Merge Shapes and say Shape Union. Go to Shape Outline, No Outline and choose a different color. Add a bit of transparency like so. Adjust the size. Place this over here. Use your rotation handle. Hold the control button down. Click and drag to a new place. Now you're able to mount this picture pretty beautifully using these semi-transparent tapes. Now, how did I create this effect of one piece getting torn into multiple pieces? Once again, it is very, very simple. Let us go back to the same presentation. Let us take the same rectangular shape. And then I'm going to rotate this right or left 90 degrees. It doesn't really matter. Now, use the same tool and then scribble. But this time you do somewhere in the middle. And then go all the way around. 
make a copy of this by pressing control D and then flip it horizontally and then flip it vertically and then place it over here. Now select this, select this, select this, go to merge shapes and say shape fragment, delete this bit, done, delete this bit, done and you can see we have three pieces. Now of course all you need to do is to apply motion path animation so you can split them into three different pieces. Very simple, right? Now let us see how I created this and this. I'm sure you guessed it by now. I didn't create any of these. I used a ready-made photo that is available in public domain. The first picture is this. I will leave a link to this in the description box below the video. I downloaded the image by going to free download and I used PNG. Let me just copy here and then let me go down here and paste. Let me place it somewhere over here and then let us extend this. Beautiful. Now let us insert a picture at the background. Go to stock images. It doesn't matter what picture you want to put in. Let me take something about industry and hit enter. Let us say I find this image. I select it and I insert it. Make sure that it is cropped to 16 is to 9 ratio and let us keep it behind by sending it to back. Now when I go to slideshow, you can see that this is how the picture gets showcased behind this torn paper effect. You can of course write your title here. The second image that I found is this. I'll also give a link to this if you want to download. I just copied this, pasted it here and I just needed to insert a picture. Let us insert the same picture. Let me take this picture, control C and go here, control V and then go up. Right click, send this to back. When I go to slideshow, this is how the slide title looks. I can write my text here and it looks as though this photo is torn. If you liked this tutorial, you will really love this other tutorial called how to create a stylish photo frame in PowerPoint. Again, it's a beginner friendly video and it will definitely create an impact on your audience. I will leave a link to this right here on your screen. You can click on the link, go watch that video next and learn another wonderful technique to showcase photos and impress your audience. I'll see you inside that video.